Hey there, uh, just a quick tutorial on these Chinese 32 servo um, controller boards. Uh, this one's a USC32. Uh, what I've got focused on here um, real quick is the UART um, pins. There's six pins and you kind of see the white uh, jumper wire going to the receive line coming from my Arduino transmit line and then the black wire going to ground. Um, if you were using 5 volts from uh, Arduino, that's uh, right between those two would be the 5 volt line. Um, and then around the board is just a bunch of servo headers and a piezo buzzer for annoying you when you have the power hooked up incorrectly. You got two blue LEDs, which are um, status LEDs for chip power and kind of like a transmit receive LED. <clears throat> and then the green LED right here on the other side of the three um, threes threaded power um, connector there, that green LED is the power for the servo. So this unit uses, um, this right here is VS, which is the power for the servo, which needs a lot of current, so you can't use like your regular one and a half or five amp, five amp power um, supply. Um, this one here is VSS, which is power for the chip. It's kind of a weird voltage here. It needs 6.5 to 12 volts uh, for that, and then ground. Uh, so I hooked it up um, to this buck boost converter, uh, usually used for LEDs and stuff like that. Um, it was the only thing I had that could power um, the unit without it beeping at me constantly. And then I'm using a AC to DC power supply. Uh, it's just a 12 volt power supply. Uh, if you don't, if you have a buck boost converter and you don't remember how to how to set it up, I'll give you a little little couple of tips that I learned just recently. So uh, input um, and then output. This adjusts your uh, voltage. So I think uh, turning it clockwise turns the voltage up. I set it to 7.2 volts because my servos are the uh, MG 966R. Um, they're pretty powerful servos, and um, 4.8 to 6.4.8 to 7.2 volts, I think, for those servos. So I set this to 7.2, and then to get the current limiting to uh, max out, I didn't know which way to turn the trim pot here. So I turned it counterclockwise until I got the current limiting LED to come on, which tells me I'm reducing the current to the point where what is trying, uh, let's see, how do I say this? The current that is being drawn is greater than the current is, that's being output or available. Uh, so that told me I was turning it the wrong direction. So I turned it clockwise until uh, it pretty much bottomed out. It kind of clicks a little bit as you bottom it out. It doesn't really stop turning, it just kind of clicks. And then I backed it off a little bit so that I'd have maximum current going to my um, controller board here. I'm just using serial from the Arduino, so I've only got just two two pins, ground and um, transmit line from the Arduino. It sends a string of data uh, or characters, uh, one byte at a time, <clears throat> over serial uh, to the board, and um, that uh, runs the servos. So there is information on online on running these uh, 32 servo controller boards. Um, over serial. It's pretty easy to do. I'll see if I can't put some string text uh, in the comments so you can see kind of uh, how easy it is. Uh, the difficult part um, was correct power. You have to have the correct power coming in here or this thing um, just it goes bananas. It beeps and it fails and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'll turn it off and then power it up here. I'm running I think nine or ten servos just all at the same time. Um, just back and forth 180 degrees. Sorry for the crappy video, but I hope this helps someone who's having a um, problem with uh, power or understanding how to put this thing together. Thanks.